welcome to this new video of me, Pretzel Cosplay, where I will show you how you can make really cool customized beads for a necklace for your cosplay using Warblast Flame Red Art. So it's the red Warbla. But of course you can also use a white Warbla or black Warbla for this. It doesn't really matter, just the scraps that you have, you can use them for this. So it's a really nice way to actually use some leftovers of Warbla that you still have lying around. So if you want to know how to make these beads for this necklace, then keep watching this video. And without further ado, let's get into the video! For this project, I'm going to use Red Warbla. It's also called Warbla's Flame Red Art. I'm going to talk more about this type of Warbla later, but first, let me show you how we are going to use it. I'm using some scraps that I had left over from another project. And then I'm heating them up using my heat gun. Warbla is a thermoplastic, so that means it needs to be hot in order to work with it. First, it's hard, like plastic, but when you heat it up to approximately 70 degrees Celsius, then it gets soft and sticky and you can sculpt with it. Like you can see here, it already becomes sticky and soft. Then I just roll it in a ball like clay. I'm very careful because I could burn my hands with this. Of course, the warbler gets very hot. With my fingers, I sculpt this war black clay into the shape that I want. To make sure that I make it in the right shape, I first made a drawing, a little sketch of the shapes that I want. And I have this silicone mat that protects my table from the heat of the warbla, and it's a little bit see-through. So under that, I can put my sketch and then I can still see it while sculpting the warbla. To build up the dinosaur skull shape, I keep adding little bits of warbla clay and I'm just adding them to the face or skull. And with a wooden clay modeling tool, I refine the shape and I try to connect the pieces of warbla together so it's less obvious that I made it out of different little bits. I keep adding details to the face and the fun thing about Warbla is that when it's hot it sticks to itself so you don't need any glue and when it cools down again it's hard like plastic so then you can use it like this as jewelry or for whatever you want to make basically. Just be sure to not leave it in a hot car in the summer because then the Warbla can heat up again and it can actually lose its shape that you made it. So that's that's rather tricky. With the clay modeling tool, I refine the shape so it's exactly how I want it. I also add some pupils to the eyes to make it come to life. And then my little Marowak hat was finished. Look how cute it looks. Oh, I love it. And now I want to add it to a necklace. So I take a piece of fake leather cord and I heat up the back of the face and also a little scrap piece of warbler. And when I heat them up, they become sticky, like you remember. Also, if you want to get a heat gun like this, I will link some in the description below so you can find them. I bought it in a local hardware store, but Amazon also has some really great ones. Okay, let's now put the necklace onto the skull and then put the soft and sticky piece of warbla on top of it. And then it's on there. <laughs> Use a little bit of pressure so there will be a good bond so the adhesive in the warbla really does its job. <music> to 
To make the necklace more interesting, I also wanted to sculpt some little bones. So I just used some scraps of the warbler again, heat them up and sculpt them into bone shapes. You can do this with any kind of warbler. I used the red warbler because I had a little bit of it left. But the other types of warbler are also sticky and you can also sculpt with the leftovers. The red warbler flame red art is especially meant for the theater industry because it is a little bit flame retardant. So yeah, that's the special thing about red warbler. And it's also really smooth, so you don't need a lot of layers of primer before you paint it. To add the little bones to the necklace, I just make sure that they are hot. And then I just sort of sculpt them around the leather cord. And then they are like beads on the necklace. And it's done! Ready for some paint! Ta-da! I think it's super cute. For the paint, I didn't prime it this time because I wanted the surface to be a little bit rough. I sprayed it black as a base color with some black acrylic spray paint. And then I painted it in a bone color with Citadel um, miniature paints that I also used to paint the Cubone skull. And there you will also see me painting it. Another fun detail to this costume is the skirt flap. I made the skirt flap using fake leather called craft skin from a cosplay shop Mink in the Netherlands. It's a really nice fake leather and it looks super realistic. And it also feels pretty realistic. So I cut out a shape of a baby Cubone out of fake leather pieces and I glued them on the skirt flap using some fabric glue. Then I used my belt puncher to punch some small holes into the fake leather. So I could add some decorative stitching with some fake suede cord. I think that looks super cool and it really adds to the effect. When all the stitching was done, I took some acrylic paint in a dark brown color and I just brushed on the edges of the skirt flap to make it look a little bit weathered and to make it look a little bit older. This gives the cosplay a little bit more character and it just makes it come to life a little bit more. I didn't only paint it on the sides but I also painted on the details of the little cubone as you can see here. Lots of shadows, super cute. And of course I had to do some twirling. <laughs> the skirt flap actually is on an elastic band and it sits under the corset. So it looks like it's part of the dress. So that's how you can make your own customized beads for a necklace for your cosplay. And I hope you liked watching this and that you learned something from it. And I'm really curious to know, will you make something like this for your own cosplay? And for what cosplay do you have some ideas? Please let me know in the comments. I would really love to know that so we can talk about it. Thank you for watching this video. And if you want to see more Warbler videos, then be sure to check out the playlist that I will link in the description box below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and Follow me on Instagram and support me on Patreon. Uh, you know the drill. <laughs> so see you in the next video. Bye-bye.